What's going on, guys? Uh, got a lure review for you this week. Gonna break everything up from all the equipment reviews that I've been doing lately, and gonna get back to the lure reviews here for a little bit. Got a couple I want to do, and uh, the first one I'm gonna do this week is the uh, Gary Yamamoto Double Tail Grub. This is gonna be my first uh, soft plastic review. I got a couple bags of them, so uh, let's go ahead and do a review on all of them. Okay guys, so uh, Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, these are the 5 inch double tail grubs. Now they have a uh, couple different variations of this grub. They have the, obviously the single tail grub, they have, uh, they have this double tail grub in the 4 inch and the 5 inch, this is the 5 inch variety, and then they also have a, uh, a 4 and a 5 inch uh, hula uh, double tail grub. And now the hula double tail grub is just in this area right here at the top of the grub. It's got like a little skirt that's molded onto it, and uh, it, it'll add a little bit more um, a little bit more bulk to your jig trailer if you use them as a as, as a jig trailer. It'll add a little bit more uh, bulk to the jig skirt itself because of the way you rig it on there. They almost look like they're part of the uh, of the jig skirt. Um, or you can actually rig them on just a, uh, an undressed jig head and then use that as a jig, shirt, uh, as a jig skirt. But uh, I mainly stick to these double tail grubs. The double tail grubs, as far as uh, jig trailers are concerned for me, is primarily what I use. I use some, uh, uh, some Zoom, Zoom Baby Brush Hogs. But mainly I use these uh, double tail grubs just because of the fact that they could be interpreted uh, as several different things. They can look like a crawdad. They could look like um, like a uh, frog. They could look like uh, a shad. Because when these things are swimming through the water, these these legs or what have you, they really get moving through the water, and they look like it. It could be interpreted as a as a tail or anything. So. That's mainly the reason why I like them is they're just so versatile, and you don't even, you can use them Texas rig, very very simple. Um, now it says that these are five inch. Um, let's see, in measuring these things, the main body of it is like one and three quarter inch, and then with the legs. Just sitting there, it's like three inches. So it's extended all the way out. These things are five inches, and they're really not even that far. They're they're more like four and a half inches extended all the way out. So I don't really know where they're getting the number five five inch from, except for maybe this thing stretched all the way out. But um, it, it offers a small profile for for a jig. Um, I have one rigged up on a football headed jig here for you already. And uh, they look great. Um, I think that they um, they really offer a lot for for a jig trailer. I mean, jig trailers are fairly pre pretty fairly simple. Um, usually, you're using some kind of a crawdad imitation, and that's what these look like. These can look like the pinchers of a of a uh, of a crawdad. So, I like to stick with uh, with the the more green colors. Uh, this is the uh, green pumpkin. I also like the uh, the watermelon, so we'll go ahead and look at this color. They come 20 to a pack. This is the Green Pumpkin Black Flake, and there's 20 in here. They're like $6.99 for a pack, so they're definitely not the cheapest bait that you're going to find, but um, as baits go, um, 22 pack is pretty good. I mean, usually you're only getting about a dozen, so, but $7 is kind of a lot. So this is the uh, Green Pumpkin black flake. You can see all the large uh, black glitter flakes that are in there. So there's that one. And let's see, that's the same pack of those. Another one that I use for black and blue uh, jigs. This is uh, purple with large blue flake. I'll go ahead and open this one up and show you one of these. Now these uh, these baits, they have kind of like an oily, you can see my fingers are kind of glistening. They have a, like an oily residue 
uh, on them. You know, they they don't really have a scent to them. I, I think it's just to keep the baits from sticking to each other inside the package. Uh, I think that's really the... I, I tried to look up some stuff about them, about, about what's on here, and I couldn't really find anything. So um, I'm just thinking that the... They put this on there so the when they're on the shelf, they, they won't stick to each other while they're in the package because who knows how long they're going to be sticking. Now, in the light that I have here, it really looks more blue on this one. But this is actually very, very purple. Um, that's the thing about cameras. You never know what you're going to get on here. But this is the this is very, very purple. And then the the uh, glitter or the flakes that are in it are just a regular royal blue but this has a lot of flash to it uh, works good with a with a black and blue jig uh, I just picked these up this year for the first time I just thought I'd give them a shot and see and see how they worked out so let's go ahead and give you a closer look at this one too this is gonna be the uh, purple with large blue flake And another one we have here. This is a variation of one that I usually uh, almost always go to. And this is the watermelon with black flake. But this one also has red glitter in it. So this says watermelon, black, and red right on it. And all these packages, they come with 20. So uh, like I said, I mean, you're going to get a lot in here. And they usually go a long way, too. Um, another thing I'm going to say about these jig trailers is that um, you'll get a lot of short strikers on them and you'll get these legs either half bitten off or all the way bitten off. With these jig trailers though, you if you were to rip one of them off, you can still fish it with just one on there and still catch just as many fish. I, I've, I mean, after a little while, you'll notice that the action of it kind of starts to get hindered just from... Uh, it being used and getting hammered in the water but um, don't rush to throw these things away uh, if you get one of your tails bitten off of it just keep using it because they'll still catch fish they still work I mean just as good so but like I said this is a variation of the one that I'm usually using I just wanted to give this red one a try because uh, I tried it a couple times last summer and I thought it worked great um, but normally I'm using this watermelon with the uh, black flake and without any of the red in it. Now you can see that red in there in, this, in certain lights. Now with this uh, green pumpkin they look really really similar on camera but um, the uh, green pumpkin is a lot more earthy and has a little bit more brown in it and the, the watermelon is more like a like candied. It's, it's a it's more like just like a dark emerald green. So this is the watermelon with black and red. Double tail grub, five inch. All right, guys. So if you guys get the opportunity to try out these things as a jig trailer, uh, give them a shot. I've been very, very successful with these, uh, especially in the summertime. I mean, it's 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 actually my go-to bait. Um, jigs uh, are normally what I fish with. Uh, if I get, if I get the chance, everything else is kind of secondary to a jig with me. And my primary jig trailer is this bad boy right here, just the uh, Gary Yamamoto Double Tail Grub and a five inch. And uh, you can cut these down a little bit. You just bite a little chunk off if you want to get rid of a little smaller profile. But the profile is already pretty small when it's on there, which is what I like in a jig trailer. Um, here's another one. Here's one with the, that black and blue on there. But um, you, if you want it to sit higher up on the hook shank, just bite a little bit of it off. And it'll give you a little shorter profile on there too. Um, but uh, like I said, give these things a shot. You'll, you'll be very impressed with uh, how versatile they are and essentially how easy it is to to um, to just catch fish. I mean, there's not a whole lot of science behind behind this jig trailer. It's just uh, two little tails. So there's, with everything that's coming out these days, I mean, you can pretty much 
get anything under the sun and these things are just very very simple old fashioned and they work fantastic especially for me so give them a shot if you haven't had the chance uh gary yamamoto custom baits uh five inch double tail grab and uh thanks for watching guys stay tuned next week